It's wow. It's live. It's me. I'm in color. That's so cool. How do they do that? <laughs> it's Michael Guerin, and it's quarantine happy hour. What are the odds? I would say 50-50. Welcome, everybody. It's time for Firus Friday. It's Shabbat Shalom. It's time for some music to take you out of the craziness. And uh, Marty Millet is here. Hi. And she's my stage manager, my wife, my favorite singer, and all around good sport for helping me put on these shows. I'm a producer. I'm a producer. It's a producer. I'm wearing wow. a cardboard belt. I sleep with a producer. That's why I'm in show business. How about this tie with the polka dots? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Why don't I shut up and play some music? All request lines are open. If you need me, I'll be in my office. <laughs> Watching today, we've got Joe Henson watching. Hey, Joe Henson, Instagram. terrific photographer. You need a headshot, you got to go see He's Joe Henson. The best. The best. Aaron Steele is watching again, wow. one of our regulars on Instagram. That's so cool. All, all these great people are watching. If Bill we, Shoning is watching. Hi, Bill, by the way, is the radio play by play voice of the San Antonio Spurs. Clap, 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 clap. And they'll be back winning the NBA championship any minute now. So, and, send it, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Send in your requests. Marty will take care of them. I'm saying hi to everybody. If I see your name, I'll say hi, Jill. And if I don't see your name, hi anyway. And that's why I'm interjecting to say your sister Eva is watching, and I'm sure her wow. husband Jim is watching too. And then Sonia's at their house, so that's, that's wow. I got Jim Cowan, I got Eva Guerin, I got Sonia Guerin, who is 100 years old. Here's the Woo. DNA. Yeah, baby. <laughs> So we're gonna keep the music going. We're gonna play some feeling kind of Motowny today. Some like you know off the beaten path Motown. Here's a wonderful song by Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. <laughs>
right, some old Motown, uh, More Love by Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, and Don't Look Back by The Temptations. For some reason, the old 45s are popping around in my head, so I'll try to get to your requests. I want to say hi to everybody. I want to say hi to Dan. I want to say hi to Don. Don and Dan, they're here. Don Weiner, Dan May, very cool. Uh, At least one of the Husseinis is watching. Hi, Husseini. And you know why they're checking in? Because it's Fairuz Friday. Of course. And we're going to play some beautiful Arabic music today. And so relax. Week is done. You did good. You kept your mask on internally as well as externally. You didn't breathe on anyone. You didn't breathe on anyone. <laughs> you didn't breathe. You didn't sing in public. There you go. <laughs> So, uh oh, Doug Major just joined. That means I have to sing ooh. Sound of Music like a chicken now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful songs of the last 50 years yeah and so let's play some more Stevie Wonder there's another beautiful Stevie Wonder song Tell Levy, Paul. I wish you wouldn't do that. Oh, you, I yeah. won't do it anymore. Nobody like most people don't have like to have jokes made out of their names, you know? Jane okay. Ellen Farmer is watching. Okay. 
Uh, Hi everybody. We said Doug. We said Doug. Oh, and Christian Sineth is watching us on uh, Instagram. Wow, how you doing? Christian was in all those uh, Sondheim musicals with me, and she's also she belongs to Mark Fisher Fitness. She even works there. So That's great. I, I know That's her from great. a lot of places. And Helene Gresser. Yeah, Helene from, is spleen. Helene from from Helene's, and that she, you know these are great people to have. She's at table 15. Oh, that's a whole other song. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> She was an Egyptian singer. She was so famous when she died, her funeral was bigger than Nasser's. That's big. So if you could imagine the Beatles, Elvis, and Barbara Streisand, and Barbara Streisand except more popular, you've got Um Kalthum. And that was an excerpt from one of her songs called Lailet Hob. Now, the way that music is constructed, if I play the whole thing, I would exceed my uh, allotted time slot here. That stuff goes on for close to an hour. So you break it up in little bite-sized chunks. That was a little bit of Lailet Hob, and we'll play some more Arabic music real soon. Uh, now, we're gonna go to what happened to Arabic music. It became Latin music, and we're gonna play a beautiful Latin song. <laughs>
Historia de un amor. Just, I just kind of want to fill our viewers in that these are the kinds of ways that musical couples pick on each other. There's a chord in that song <laughs> that he likes to play wrong. He likes to play a major chord when it's supposed to be a minor chord and he knows that I can't do anything about it because he's singing it and I'm not. <laughs> he did it just to punk me. As, as they say on Captain Planet, the power is yours. <laughs> song and, and then I won't dance and then you know we just kind of let the let the thing happen wherever it happens so um, as you guys know if you're regular viewers I was a big fan of a great Algerian singer-songwriter named Idir and uh, I thought you know I discovered him almost by accident because I was looking at YouTube and looking at all the uh, videos of uh, Enrico Macias and get well soon Enrico Macias will play some of his stuff too great Algerian songwriter and singer himself. So uh, then I saw him do a duet with this guy and I went, man, who's that? That guy's great. And it turns out his name is Idir and he is a uh, uh, bear bear, which means that he's a member of the indigenous tribes that inhabit North Africa. And he wrote some great stuff. If you imagine a guy that looks like Woody Allen Sings like Buffy St. Marie, if you remember her. He's a better singer than Buffy St. Marie. Uh, he's a better singer than <laughs> Buffy St. Marie. And he writes as good as Paul Simon or Bob Dylan. And I yeah, He's like him. the Bob Dylan of the Barbary Coast. There you go. So <laughs> I'm going to mash up. Uh, when I started at the uh, Roxy Hotel, I started doing these mashups. And it was one of the first ones I did. Uh, and this was... Uh, a mashup of Edir, Frank Zappa, and Giancarlo Minotti. Let's see if I remember this, Mr. Big Shot, who do I think <laughs> I are.
different tunes. That was Abba by Nuva by the late great Idir. Terrific song, terrific uh, performer and musician. Check him out on YouTube, I-D-I-R, Idir. Followed by a little bit of Peaches and Regalia by Frank Zappa, another great tune. And I tied them all together with a song called Have You Seen a Child from the opera uh, Amal and the Night Visitors by Giancarlo Minotti. You know, that, that opera was commissioned by NBC. Television <sighs> networks used to commission an opera to be written for Christmas time. And op the first and only, I think, opera written specifically for television by Giancarlo Minotti, NBC used to have an orchestra. Let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, it's time, uh, speaking of commercial considerations, it's time for our commercial. So, you know, uh, I don't have a tip glass here, but if I did, um, it would be virtual. So this is our virtual tip cup, and we have a little music to accompany it to have. And it goes a little something like this. I hope it goes exactly like this. melody from uh, G uh, Giacomo Puccini, who put it in an opera called La Boheme. The uh, aria is called Quando Menvo, and we made it Quando Venmo. Hey, you know who's watching? Who? J.O. Sanders. Hey, J.O. Sanders. We were just talking about him because one of his many Law and Orders was on the other That's night. That's right. There he is. He was the bad dad. That's right. And his sister, Marta, is a fantastic singer. Yeah. And it turns out that she loves and knows tangos because she's got, a, a, I think, uh, your mom uh, lived in Argentina and sang tangos and so huh. forth. So why don't I do... Do some uh, tangos. Do some tangos from Argentina. So this is a beautiful tango. Uh, one of the great love songs is the one she sang along with last time she was at the, the Roxy Hotel where hopefully we'll be back soon. This is by the great Carlos Gardel and it's called El Dia Que Me Quieras. Oh yeah. On the day that you love me. <laughs> Play it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Beautiful song. Carlos Gardel, check him out too. Man, that guy could. He was he was big. I mean, it was like you know, if you apparently if you go to Buenos Aires, uh, you uh, half the streets are named after him. You know, you, you can get refrigerator magnets that say Carlos Gardel and all sorts of cool stuff. Carlos Gardel, he was something special. It's kind of like uh, a cross between Frank Sinatra and Rudolph Valentino. That ain't bad. Right? <laughs> okay. So, uh, it's mashup time, and one of my favorite, because, you, know, you know, I was at the Roxy Hotel today. They're starting to gear up for a reopening, and they wanted to, um, uh, they wanted to do like a, a 360 video to a tour of the place so you can look around. They, they wanted me to recreate my role as resident pianist at the Roxy Hotel. So they filmed you with a mask on? Yeah! <laughs> Why I oughta... Who was that mask man? Can you narrow it down? <laughs> hey, there you go. Marty Millen, ladies thank and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Thursday is her show. Yeah, next Thursday That's I'm going right. to do the show at 7.15. That's right, 7.15. So anyway, um, here's one of my mashups that uh, it mixes uh, The Grateful Dead and Broadway. Seriously. Dead, written by Jerry Garcia, I think, and uh, Robert Hunter, who met as teenagers doing a community theater production of Damn Yankees, Emmis. And then I mashed it up with I Could Have Danced All Night from My Fair Lady, a very famous Broadway musical. So uh, we've had a request for some Jobim. And so we're going to play uh, one of the less known Antonio Carlos Jobim songs. My pal Roger Klein asked for this. We went to Emerson College together. If anybody's, if any of the Emerson crew is out there, hi. Any of the Sandy Spring crew is out there, hi. Greenbelt crew, love you too. And uh, all my New York peeps. So. Here's a little something by Antonio Carlos Jobim called Stone Flower. Thank you. 
was Stone Flower by Antonio Carlos Jobim, and I snuck in Farfilu by the great Farid Al Atrash, who was a, a great, great Arabic musician. He played the oud really, really well. Man, that guy could play the oud. And he sang and he wrote songs and he was just terrific. He looked a little like, uh, who did he look like? Well, kind of a um, handsome guy, did like movies and music videos as they were called back then. A little kind of a Ronald Coleman thing going on. <laughs> hey, you know who's watching? Kevin Thompson. Hey, Kevin Thompson. We just played a, a benefit for his wonderful organization, Red Trunk. Uh, and it, it's a great educational tool they take a red trunk and they fill it up with all this stuff that would be from another culture altogether. So you might have your classroom here and then they open up the red trunk and everything that a kid would learn or, or have in Kenya or in the Canary Islands or in some far-flung exotic location. And you find that the toys, recipes, stuff, redtrunk.org. Check it out. Hi, Kev. We got to do a benefit for them uh, last week and we got to virtually work with John Hamm. He was totally into me. I, I don't want my husband to hear me say this, you guys, but he was totally into me. Yeah. Okay, so play, you know, um, somebody just asked for, oh, that uh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem of gold, yeah. Jerusalem Shel Zahav, coming right up. It's a perfect song to welcome in the Shabbat, which is coming down. Coming right up.
that was uh, Smooth Operator and a little bit of some other Chardonnay song whose title escapes me momentarily. And I think we've got some uh, very young girls watching in Maryland who are big fans. And they are not only young, very bright and attractive eight-year-olds, they are also personal injury attorneys. They are? That is unbelievable. Is that a thing? That is a thing, I believe. It's backwards. It? Turn it. There you go. There they are. Kyla and Alana. Alana, Alana, Alana and Kyla. Kyla, injury attorneys. They're personal they, injury attorneys. Personal injury attorneys. They're eight years old, but they litigate at a 15-year-old level. <laughs> it just so happens. Just they, like most litigators I've known. That's right. Well, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kyla and Alana. Attorney, their favorite playwright is A.R. Gurdy, a branch in Rockville, in one in Glen Burnie. <laughs> Kyla and Alana, injury attorney. Don't forget, dial 1 800 100 100 100 100 100 100 chicken. <laughs> from Instagram yes. from Jane Mose. She wants to know about the mementos on the shelves, like the trolley. Oh, the trolley is from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. My sister sent me that a couple of Christmases ago just because she knew how much I loved Mr. Rogers. Yeah. So he's just kind of, he's kind of my patron saint, so we always have that up there. And this down here is a Malcolm X hat, which was given to me by Spike Lee. It's and autographed it's, by Spike Lee. It's autographed, it says, to Michael, peace, Spike Lee. I've done a couple of different jobs for Spike. One of them was the Anita Baker video, No One in the World. It was Amateur Night at the Apollo Theater, and I was one of the acts, Spike was one of the acts, and Anita Baker was one of the acts. Guess who won? <laughs> Not me! And uh, he also hired me to do voiceovers for Do the Right Thing, where I had to say the N-word. And you received money for that from Spike Lee. It's I, kind of... I, per, I received SAG scale plus 10%. It is a paradoxical gig. It's one of the strange ones. Show business is interesting. But tell them about the Buddha from uh, Greenbelt. That, that is what we call the Buddha. It's from Greenbelt, Maryland. I am from Greenbelt, Maryland. Greenbelt, Maryland was founded by the WPA as a planned community. Ooh, socialism. And there was a statue in the middle of the shopping center where it still is. And it was a mother giving her child a glass of milk. And we dubbed it the Buddha because it was this big statue and you'd rub it and you'd get good luck or you'd get arrested. <laughs> there you have it. So, uh, the socks. The socks are very important. I'm wearing the purple uh, circled socks. Those so are stripes. Those are stripes? Yeah, those are, those are horizontal stripes. Well, they go in stripes. circles. Only if you look at them a certain way. Play a song. You know, speaking of going in circles, <laughs> how about Marty Millet? Thank you. Oh, and say hi to Warren Shine. Did you say hi to Warren? Papa Smurf. Papa Warren Smurf. Shine. Great Warren entertainer.
like a little Gershwin because we're in New York and that's that's a Gershwin thing. Uh, so I hope everybody's uh, secure and in your locations and you're obeying the rules and you're wearing a mask when you go outside and your social distancing. All you know, the rules stuff. are changing everywhere for everybody. So, you know, we can't really, I mean, some places are opening up. But you got to wear your mask. Gotta Please wear, wear a mask, mask when you gotta go wear out. A mask. Uh, Jane Ellen Farmer wants to know if you actually studied tap. No. No, no, no. I played spoons. It's almost the same thing. Same thing. Well, you don't have to stand up. That's right. <laughs> and then you can eat a grapefruit afterwards. Anyway, uh, I'm Michael Guerin. We're on Wednesdays and Fridays from 6 to 7 on channel uh, Facebook and Instagram. And this Thursday, Marty Miller will be doing her show on her Facebook page at 715. My mom's watching, and she wanted to hear something in Hebrew. So I'm going to sing her a little Hebrew song that everybody seems to be enjoying very much. This is called The Evening of the Roses. Yeah. So if anybody's allergic, I apologize. <laughs> And Motown, you know, um, I have a band called the Habibi Kings, and we do a lot of music from the Middle East and North Africa. And the Habibi Kings have a philosophy that if musicians ruled the world, there'd be no more war. Nothing else would get done, but there'd be no more war. <laughs> well, Susan Fleming is watching us on uh, Instagram. She says, hello and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Susan Fleming. You know what? Susan Fleming is a big opera fan, so I'm going to play the mashup that she really likes which is Jimi Hendrix and Lucia de Lammermoor. How is this possible? <laughs> Trick photography.
sextet from Lucia de Lavermoor, and one rainy, one, one rainy wish by Jimi Hendrix. See, now that's harder to say than Um Kalfum. Yeah, <laughs> I'll say. So, we wouldn't be Firuz Fy Friday if we didn't include some Firuz. So here's a beautiful song by Firuz. <laughs> Salam by Fairuz, followed by a very famous Boron Pom Pom, which is the uh, title of the song, I think. Uh, it's a Spanish song, but you notice the same chord progressions. So then I did Like a Virgin by Madonna. Ooh, sexy stuff. <laughs> well, it's time to say goodbye, everybody, until next week. And we're going to close things out like we always do with some Raymond Scott Powerhouse, some Stevie Wonder, I Wish and something, something, something. Thanks to everybody for stopping by and saying hello and enjoying the music. Remember to stay safe and wear your mask when you go outside. We're gonna beat the hell out of this thing like a drum and then we will all gather at the Roxy Hotel where I hope to be holding forth sooner rather than later. Watch this. <laughs>
always say, have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.